while we are not here to deliver a Tom Cotton type message to an Ayatollah, Ayatollah, we do advance a message that while there is alarm, there is also hope. Hope based on the fact that so many Americans continue to support this valuable agreement. Hope and praise for our allies that uh, they remain in this agreement and hope that Iran will maintain what our own American military professionals confirm is its full compliance. We've never had any illusions about Iran. This agreement is based on verification, not on trust. It imposed the most stringent requirements and inspections regime the world has ever seen. Uh, it uh, includes Iranian military sites. Iran has shipped out 96 percent of its enriched uranium and dismantled two-thirds of its centrifuges while agreeing permanently that, quote, under no circumstances will Iran ever seek, develop or acquire nuclear weapons. With Trump uh, breaking American commitments to the world on an agreement that has so effectively accomplished its purpose, many commentators have already noted how much more difficult resolving North Korea will become. But I think it's about more than just our credibility jeopardized by a broken promise. By declaring that the extensive enforcement provisions against Iran are grossly deficient in what he described as the worst deal ever, Trump sets the standard by which he himself should be judged in Korea. We cannot settle for some broad statement of principles. We need to know that he will secure a more stringent inspection regime in Korea, even more intrusive than that which he has unjustifiably condemned in Iran. And whatever his plan B must be, might be, uh, if that doesn't work out in Korea or in uh, Iran, B cannot stand for bombing. And I uh, invite my colleague Jan Schakowsky.